Welcome back to the channel. Today is the 18th of July 2021 and yesterday was the second round of the Endurance Championship at the South Wales Karting Circuit in Orlando or Landau. Um, and you know, during the practice sessions, everything seems okay. Um, it was Christian's final practice session. Um, one of the engines cut out. And he had to stop out on track and then nurse it back to the pits with just one engine running. In trying to get that other one to kick start, the other one then cut out. Um, the race start them calling over, you know, are you guys racing? And we had to throw in the towel. <sighs> it, it sucked. <laughs> we retired before we even started the race. Now, a few years ago, um, my family went into the Bracken Beacons because my brother was doing the Dragon Ride, um, which is this crazy endurance cycling event um, that runs in and around that area. And I remember us going to the Bracken and going up um, one of the mountains that was um, near to Penwai Fan, or Penwai Fan, whatever it is. On the way back, to the hotel. I'm driving on along the M4 on my way to Cardiff and I'm just peering over to the left and you can just see the Brecon. Um, and so I, I just thought, I was picturing that, but I didn't think I was gonna find it because I didn't want to Google it, I didn't want to sat nav it. I just wanted, what I did was I set, well, I set the sat nav to Brecon, which I believe is a small village um, and I just wanted to run that route and I wanted to find a spot to watch the sunset from. And so, yeah, I could have been at the hotel for half six, maybe even seven o'clock. Could have had a shower, could have chilled out, could have done all this. But no, I turned off the road, I went up, I got my McDonald's. And I went to Pan My Fan. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, some ketchup, please. Right. Cheers. This place.
I think that's the water treatment place that we saw a sign for. See the tower off to the side as well. gonna say I'm glad that the car blew up but if it hadn't I wouldn't be here now would I Always make the best of what you have. And if it really comes down to it, you have a life. Just because you don't get to do something doesn't mean you don't get to do anything. I'm in the Brecon Beacons. That's awesome. <laughs> that is great. Now let's go find that sunset. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Penwai Fan. Penwai Fen. That's him. Wherever this um, mountain is, the one that I came up with um, my family a few years ago. Um, driving through the Bracken is beautiful and incredible, and um, you know the sun in its position now. That's gonna look, I mean, it's gonna look great from here. You can only imagine what it's gonna look like from the top. 
So um, yeah, let's see how that goes. The only remaining question is, so I've not eaten the McDonald's yet. So we've got three options. We eat it now. Uh, we take it up with us and eat it. Or we we come back for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I'm not prepared for this. I didn't think I'd be going up a hill or a mountain or whatever it is. I just know I kind of want to. Because I can. Because it's just the other side of those trees. Um, you know, back there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Still quite high, but we've still got quite a bit of way to go. So, bro. Oh, damn, look at this pack. You're no doubt going to ask the question that I'm asking. Um, right now. Why am I... Woo, why am I putting myself in a position where, you know, we couldn't do the race, the car, you know, failed. Um, we had an engine failure, you know, why couldn't I have just gone back to the hotel, you know. Um, I've been watching a lot of How I Met Your Mother recently. So I could have got some of that on, I could have had a cold shower, I could have had some food and then, you know, I had a pretty early night. Um, and that would have been, you know, I could have easily done that. Um, the reason I didn't, um, I think I'm, I think I'm starting to change my outlook. Um, and I'm starting to change um, how I see myself and how I see how I fit into the wider picture. I don't know if that's heat stroke or if I am actually <laughs> talking because I don't think that made sense. But my point being, you know, I'm starting to believe that I can do a lot more than I thought was possible. And as well as that, for so many opportunities in the past, I've played it easy. I've taken the easy way out. And I guess, you know, me doing this, pardon me, that's the milkshake talk. <laughs> I guess me doing this, me adding on hours onto my day, you know, it's just a, 
Now, I'm, I'm in Wales. You know, I might as well make the most of it. And you know, that's a really good, I think, um, rule to to give yourself. You know, whatever opportunity you find yourself in, make sure you take the most out of it. There is, you know, stress that comes with that because, you know, <laughs> you won't take breaks. Yeah, you know, I could have had a, I could have had the evening off. You know, I've had a hard week at work. You know, I could have just chilled out. So it's it's finding that balance. But I think, you know, I think what I'm doing now, you know, it, it's just just. Have a look at what I'm looking at. Like, I could have been in a hotel now, fully clean, fully fed. What's on my face? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, as I was saying, fully, <laughs> fully clean, fully fed. But instead, I mean, I mean, look at that over there. I, re I mean, I've got a new phone, so I hope it is doing it justice. But look at that. And I've come here to see that baby over there set. I think I've got a really good space. Oh, I've still got a bit to go, but you know, I think I think I made the right decision. <laughs> he says he yawns for the fifth time in like a minute, and I'm even. I'm even Strava in it. Look at these sheep. Meh. I won't tease him. Um, I think we watched um, Clarkson's Farm. And so I have a bit more of a, an attachment to sheep now. <laughs> Hello. I come in peace from across the border. Look at this though. We are currently one mile in, 17 minutes. The car is pretty out of sight. The issue is the sun seems to be getting higher. So that's another one. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Look at that. I'm literally using a rock. Nah, nah. This is too cringy. We're not here yet. Ooh. Ugh, it's not this kind of channel yet. Ah! Oh my god, my phone. My phone, it's all, it's all dirty. Oh god. Just look, just look at what I was looking at. Right over there. Look at it. 
What this reminds me of, um, for anyone that's played Mass Effect, the first Mass Effect, and probably even the remaster, um, I've not played it enough to be able to say for certain, but let's just say the original Mass Effect. When you go to, when you're able to land on a planet, whatever planet it is, it's always very simple. You know, the, the, the guys, the guys and gals that were making the landscapes for these planets made it really simple. And I mean, when I look at when I look at that, oh, it's such Mass Effect vibes. The only thing missing is there'll be a sun there, but there'll also be like three over there, one there, and then two scattered over there somewhere. Um, oh, moon. Uh, can you see the moon? There we go. There's the moon. Look at that. I'm trying to zoom in on it. How's it. How far can you get? <gasps> oh. oh, okay, I'm bored. If I'm bored, you're definitely bored. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, there's another sheep. Alright, I'll stop teasing. <laughs> Stunning. If this isn't a BAFTA winning film, if it's not, like, genuinely, you need to clean your ears, your eyes, your mouth out. Because that was a BAFTA winning shot if there's ever been one. <laughs> if there's ever been one, that was it. And it's on this channel. I really can't decide what this is going to be, can I? And that there's the top. That little bit that's rising up. It's not been so bad. I mean, of course, I'm not at the top yet. Of course, we're still a little way off from the actual sunset. But, you know, so far, so good. Gorgeous.
there's a lot of places around here which you which you could chill out. I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose. Yeah. There isn't the perfect place to view something from. Almost like there isn't a perfect way to do something. The most important thing is that you get to what you want. And what I wanted was the sunset on top of a mountain after breaking down in an endurance race. <laughs> and I'm gonna get my sunset. I'm trying to make this philosophical or, or whatever. You know what? Those who know me know that I am quite, I don't know if, I don't know if philosophical is the right word, but. <sighs> this is nice, you know? This is a nice moment, and I'm going to enjoy it. so many people up here, whether they're campers, whether they're just hikers, there's so many people up here waiting for the sunset, you know, and they will, they will have this same special moment, and I wonder how many of them planned that it would be today how many of them had a spontaneous urge to just do something. It's funny how a little thing, a little trip, a little sit down, sit and watch, whatever you want to call it. It's funny how when you're in it, in the moment, how rare it is. But yet you realize, well, you don't realize, but you, you know, it's pleasant sitting here, just watching the sun go down. And yet it's a rare moment. something so simple that you could do every day of your life. You could see out every day by watching the sunset. Like for some, watching the sunrise. We could do things that please us a lot more than we actually do. So why don't we?
don't have the time. jacket on now it's quite windy Let's go further down. We only get to see it once. I was expecting a big, well, to be fair, we're not there yet, but you know, I was expecting, like, what I am expecting, should I say, like a big flash of light when it finishes. But it's not going to be that. It's going to be pretty anticlimactic. And there's nothing wrong with that. We overthink so much on our day-to-day -day lives that why should the sunset be any different? I'm achieving what I set out to do by watching the sunset. But now, I preferred watching the sun light up well just light up this ground you know, all of this was bathed in light but a few well about an hour ago or even half an hour ago so yeah
and we're back. Well, that was, I didn't think I was gonna do it. I, I knew I could do it. I just didn't think I was gonna do that today. That's crazy. What? So I just got up a mountain. Uh, anyway, it's 10 o'clock. I was supposed to be at the hotel at 10. Um, and I've got probably about an hour's drive to get there. So, I might... So, I might be sleeping in the car tonight. But, I will let you know either way if I do, or if I do get a shower. We'll see. Right? If not, anyway, guys... Um live life to the fullest make the most of whatever opportunity you come across and do what you want to do because it feels good it feels good to be you and it feels good to do what you want to do all right guys see you in the next one